it's simple. It's just I want people to feel joy and love. I was just doing my a completely different business, had never sung, had never played guitar, I'd never written a song, and a friend of mine had a band and they were missing their female vocalist, and he just said, completely out of the blue, do you sing? And I said, yeah, in my shower, not in front of people, and he just kept pressing for whatever reason, and as soon as I sang with the band, I something opened up that I did not expect, and we were all having a great time, and, then I had a lot to learn, ever since I've been learning a lot. <laughs> I think it's part of being human to sing. And people, when people tell me they can't sing, I'm like, of course you can sing. Everybody can sing. People's minds get in the way of what their voice can do and their belief systems. It's almost like you have to think or feel your voice into a space. You hold the intention, let it go, and your voice will follow. So. It's a quantum thing, it never ends. You could learn about the voice for the rest of your life and just barely touch the, the tip of the iceberg. All of the songs come out of the moment of whatever is up right now. If I'm sad, I'm processing it through the song. If, if I'm feeling love, I'm processing that through the song and sharing it through the song. So, I try to let the song tell me what it wants to be. It's kind of like going back and forth between your head and heart, head and heart. You know, there's got to be like, it's got to make sense to everybody else, too. <laughs> but it's a stream of consciousness thing sometimes. We write most of our own songs, almost all of our own music is original music, and it's got like a soulful bass, soul, funk, rock, blues influences, singer-songwriter, a lot of hyphens. We're in a new era where a lot of us don't have record companies. A lot of bands don't want record companies, but it, it gives you this freedom to have your own sound drawing on all these different influences. The core team here is Taylor Scott doing co-writing, he's producer, arranger. Jeff Gray, who owns Far and Away, and Alex Stricker is also always at the studio, and he has this real depth of knowledge about the technical practices of the studio and remembers everything. He's got a steel trap for a mind. We just let our minds take us where they will and come up with the next song and then the next song until it becomes an album. Our last album was titled Play Nice, and Play Nice was about just the love of being in a room with musicians and falling in love with other musicians and that music and the experience and just being completely in the moment. A lot of our songs have more than one meaning. I always feel like there's a mundane meaning that everybody gets on the first listen and then if you spend a little time with the song, it'll reveal more of itself. And then sometimes it'll even surprise me and I'll be like, oh, I didn't know that was in there for me for later. So. I think that's the amazing thing about all art forms is it's there are layers, just like we have depth. The art has depth if you're one of those people who is looking for that. But you can also just enjoy it on a surface level. Music is vibration when you when you come right down to it. Everything is vibration, everything is frequency. I've been all over the place, and I could live anywhere, any of us could live anywhere, but not every place resonates with me, but the frequency of this place and the people is peaceful to me. And it really is important to have that so that I can have that silence that the music comes out of silence. For me, it always comes out of silence. So I spend a lot of time alone, which I think a lot of people don't understand that, like, People who are on stage, if they're writers, they spend a lot of time alone, just toning what they do and writing things over and over and over again. A song might get rewritten, you know, 50 times before you take it. I'm, it my song might get written 20 times before I even mention it to Taylor, because I want it to be 
at least developed to a certain extent. But sometimes I'll go to Wanaka Park and just sit there under a tree and write. And uh, you know, you've got, we've got these little pockets of nature that we have both. You know, this town feeling, got the city really close by, and then you can get out to nature really quickly. And I spend a lot of time outdoors. Well, I will tell you that regardless of the theme of the song, whether it's about heartbreak or, you know, sensuality or love or sorrow, whatever it's about, I have this little secret thing that I do to all everything that I put out there, which is that I intend for everybody to, to receive love, to get joy out of it. Like those are high vibrations. That is the whole reason humanity is here is to get out of these polarities of us and them. Like, so that's really, I guess, it's simple. It's just, I want people to feel joy and love. We're here on this planet to love people, to express ourselves, to be creative and to be human. And the arts and music are what connects us to that humanity and each other. And it's so important. It's so important. It's more important now than ever because we need to, we need to keep our humanity.